Hi guys, Dave here for Dave Outdoors, thanks for tuning in. This is just a quick follow-up video on plant identification, uh, related in particular to the kawakawa tree that I did previously. This is our kawakawa leaf right here, and again as you can see, individual heart-shaped leaves. A lot of them got full of holes, that's, uh, that's a good thing, it's not an unhealthy thing. And the stalks are black or dark purple, each stalk leading to an individual leaf. Over here, we have another heart-shaped plant and each stalk leading to an individual leaf. So when these plants are together, you could see the differences. But in a survival situation, if you take this one away and you, do, you know the basics but not very practiced, add to that low in nutrition, maybe dehydrated, not thinking straight, some stress levels are up, it's not too hard to make a mistake and pull the wrong leaf off, go to the wrong plant and uh, consume it and get very sick. So plant identification and practice is crucial just like any bushcraft skill. Uh, there's plenty of information online, plenty of photographs, but as always the best thing to do is to get out there and get familiar with the environment, get familiar with the plants and everything that's out there. This, these guys here as well, this is the uh, non kawagawa plant, I don't know what it is, but even this one here gets eaten by insects so it has holes as well. So the similarities really are quite something. Heart-shaped leaves as well, but the stalks on this guy in particular are, are almost white, very, very light tan color, almost white. The kawakawa plant can grow to about six meters tall, and it's a tree, but it, it kind of spreads out like a large bush as well. So help, helpful in identifying it there. Some other things to look for on the kawakawa plant is uh, unhealthy leaves. Here's a healthy one here in my right hand and the, here on the left it's quite unhealthy. It just sort of flops around, it's got very little life to it. Um, you can see the dark green of this healthy leaf here and this guy here is very yellowish. A bit of green to it but very yellowish. It just doesn't look healthy to consume. These leaves can also dry out and um, get leaf curl as well which is another indication that they're unhealthy. So again plant identification. Thanks for tuning in guys.